animals, including people, need food and water to survive. And what's more is they like to eat and drink. Just like us, some animals even have their own favorite foods. You may notice that your dog gets more excited about meaty treats and doesn't really show too much interest in your vegetables. Now think of a time you haven't eaten for a while and your stomach couldn't stop growling. Doesn't feel good, right? You might have felt grumpy or kind of tired. Just like for us, having enough food and water is important for animals to keep them healthy and happy. But how much food and water does an animal need? Well, it depends on the species of animal, their age, size, activity level, and if they have any health issues. What stage of life the animal is in also affects how much food they need. Older dogs, for example, should be eating less food than younger dogs, simply because they are less active, whereas a puppy needs to eat quite a lot of food for their small size so they can grow, run, and play. Animals often have free access to water so they can drink whenever they are thirsty. Food can also be accessed freely by animals, such as for cows grazing on a pasture. But food can also be given at certain times, just like how you might feed your dog a couple of times a day. Since so many factors can impact on how your animal should be eating, it is important to ask your veterinarian how much food is enough for your animal. Veterinarians know a lot about animal nutrition and will be able to answer any questions about your pet's diet. But it's not just about making sure that your animal is getting enough food and water. It's also about the kind of food that your animal is taking in. For example, your parents or guardians wouldn't approve if you ate junk food all the time. They would want you to have a balanced diet with vegetables, fruits, protein, and grains. Animals are the same. In order for your pet to be healthy, they need a diet that's right for them. Cats, for example, are carnivores, which means they need to eat meat to survive. In fact, cat food has more meat protein than dog food. There are many foods that are healthy for humans, but not so healthy for your pets. So you gotta try to avoid these foods and not let your animals get into them. For instance, you probably have been told not to feed your dog grapes. Even though they are perfectly healthy for people, grapes are toxic to dogs and can be deadly if they eat too many. Here are some other foods that are also toxic to dogs and cats. In addition to food quality, good clean water is also important for your animal. Would you want to drink water that has been out for like a month? Probably not. You would probably prefer fresh water right out from the tap. Your animal prefers the same thing. In fact, if you don't change the water, it's possible that they won't drink it and may end up becoming dehydrated. Horses are one species of animal that is very sensitive to water quality. They may reduce how much water they drink if the water source has algae blooms. You probably wouldn't want to drink that either. It's important that you give your pet fresh water every day so they remain hydrated and healthy. Also, don't forget to clean their dishes. It is just as important to clean your animal's water and food bowls to prevent the buildup of gunk and germs. Like us, animals need a complete, balanced diet to stay healthy. Not getting enough food and water could make your animals feel hungry, thirsty, and even weak and too much food will cause them to feel bloated, uncomfortable, and tired. If you give your animal quality food and water in the right amounts, they can maintain good weight, be healthy, and most importantly, they will feel the pleasures of a good meal and thirst-quenching drink. For discussion questions and activities, and to learn more about the needs of animals, visit everylivingthing.ca slash five needs.